Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. We are back here playing Russia and Europe and Universalis 4. And uh, <laughs> we are in a war with Syria, Iraq, Persia, the Ottomans, Milan, and I think Algiers. Yep. Cool. Let's continue onward. We are kicking much ass. You know, after that war with the Holy Roman Empire, which we could have easily just dominated, given enough time, um, it's nice to just be able to relax and kick people's ass, right? Just don't take no shit from nobody. Russia, don't take no shit from nobody. I ain't nobody's fool. Who you calling a fool, fool? Onward. Stop taking attrition. <laughs> Now here's one of the really dumb mechanics that they added in 1.2. This guy, we fought him in Kaffa. After Kaffa, he shattered retreated. Where? Oh, into enemy lands. And then back down here into friendly lands. And then across a freaking sea. And now he's retreating all the way across his own territory. And now he's shattered retreating back into enemy lands. What the fuck, game? And now I bet you he's gonna go all the way down here to Swakin. He's gonna go to Africa from Kaffa. How dumb is that, right? How dumb is that? That's so stupid. So stupid. Anywho, we are also chasing around a Persian army who seems to be having a whole lot of fun. Uh, put you guys on forced march, and he's running to Khuzestan. Okie dokie, we'll chase him down, see if we can't catch him. Mm, looks okay, why don't you split in half and come this way. Siege all the things. Syria will be the first place to fall, most likely. And we are fighting Iraq over here in Adana. In the mountains. Not the best place, but whatever. And this guy's about to attack us in Khuzestan. You guys can drop a siege and roll. Invade all the things. This is like relaxing payback after that war with the HRE, you know? No real threat. No real danger. Oh, we caught him in Fars. That's pretty awesome. And uh, you guys can... Wait one second. Come on, let me group them. Let me group them. There we go. I don't know why that bug is there, but it's weird. It doesn't let you do anything for a while. Algiers is attacking us. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Algeria. Sup, bro. Sup, man. Sup, dude. We're Algeria, and we're here to stay. Come on, Algeria. Let's party. I wonder how long my troops can hang out, because I need to bring in some uh, reinforcements if we actually want to win that battle. Drop a siege and go help in Constantinople. Derp. And yeah, he's just retreating all the way through my territory, and his territory, and my territory again, and then his territory. Yep, he's going to Judea. That's not a dumb mechanic at all. Let's retreat across the whole fucking globe, yeah! That'll make the game fun. I think that's one thing that Paradox is not really focusing on, is they're, they're trying to fix bugs, and they're trying to make the game... I think they were trying to make it more realistic, but we're trying to have a game here, a fun game. And right now it seems a little, you know, less than that. I just don't like the Shattered Retreat mechanic. There's a lot of other things that I do like. Okay, we won the Battle of Aleppo. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> Persia is attacking us in Iraqi Arab. It's fine. We're at 44% in this war already. Just from battles. It's all battles. <laughs> Wall? I'm surprised he still has little armies wandering around. Oh, it's probably because he's building units in Kaffa. Yeah. 
Alright, take your idiots and go that way. That'll work. Our guys are actually defending extremely well. <laughs> way outnumbered against Algeria, because Algeria's tech is kind of crap. Yep, we won that battle. Completely outnumbered. Didn't matter. Did not matter. This battle's about to end. Very good. Oh, we def definitely don't need you down here. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't realize I had that many reinforcements coming, but okay. We just have so many dudes and so much manpower. Okay, where is he retreating to? Hormuz? Yeah. Okay, go kill him in Hormuz. You know what? Um, oh, I can't turn off. I have mer mercenaries here. I know what to do with them. You guys get to go... No, go to Kerman. Didn't realize I had mercenaries in there. I'm going to drop off a whole bunch of cav. Oh, no, no, not the cannons. Well, cannons are fine, too. Drop off some cav. There you go. And take the main army to Hormuz. He is shattered retreating. My goodness. So stupid. Hey, we're finally making progress down here. Good. Syria will soon be ours. We're going to make them a vassal. Where is he retreating to? Adana. Good. So am I. Works for me. Can I please turn off Force, or force to March? There. Under attack in Sidon. Oh! He shattered retreated into my army. It shouldn't even be possible. Okay, but you're going that way anyway, so that's fine. I, mean, I don't know, it should be okay, I think. All right, number 10 to 1, though. I don't know. And Persia finally landed on our head down here. They're rolling zeros and they have no morale. So hopefully they'll just get broken. Khorasan has flipped to a republic. Interesting. Should be okay down here, even without a general. Do we have a spare general? We do. Alright, there you go. Spare general. We're battling all the things. And we won. He is going to... No, Badit Aisham. Okay. I assume he's running home to Algeria. Uh, let's just go to Judea. We have engaged the enemy in Kerman. Oh, interesting. Okay. And he's shadow retreating to Kerman. Okay. We'll go help. Eh, that worked. It was just mercenaries anyway. And Syria. One last province. One last province. Karbala. Good. Come help in, in uh, Sidon. Ah, the Battle of Kerman. Good. His army was destroyed. And Sidon, we have won that battle. Fantastic. Alright, why don't you guys go to Judea. I don't know where he's going to retreat to, but if we can block off this little corridor, he won't be able to come back. And just siege everything. Looks like Algeria is going to go get trapped down that corridor as well. Oh yeah, he stopped in Judea. Interesting. Can we catch him? 
Yes, we're going to catch him in Judea. Fantastic. Army's under attack in Kaffa. Right, that guy who shattered retreated. Okay, he should be fine. I think. Sidon has fallen. Okay, let's peace out Syria. So we could do the catch and release program. Just that, and then release Syria. Or we could just vassalize him. I think we'll just vassalize him. How much aggressive expansion is that? 45. Yeah, let's just vassalize him, because then it's only 15. And... No, keep your cores. Okay. Syria is now my vassal. And they still like us. Look at that. They're like, yay, here we have an overlord. <laughs> and this will be a nice little battle down here. The one stupid thing about vassalizing them with the wrong religion is we won't be able to marry them. But... Uh, Lithuania. We're improving relations, right? Yes, we are. We already have enemy of enemy bonus. Uh, I would like to marry him and vassalize him because he's he's the perfect size, but he has to stop being hostile. I'm not sure why he's hostile. He does not have us as an enemy. Um, I'm not sure why we're getting enemy of enemy bonus with him. We shouldn't because we don't have the same enemies. Oh yeah, we do. We have the Ottomans. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why we're... Uh, why he's hostile to us. He just spawned. I mean, he, he literally just spawned out of Swedish territory. So a new country should not automatically be hostile, but they are. Kill them all. And you guys can come forward to here. One in Judea, very good. Level 2 fort should be fine. Why don't you guys stay back and start sieging things? We're going to see if we can't get Iraq as a vassal. I don't think we can. Base tax 3, base tax 4, base tax 2, base tax... Actually, we can. They're small. Interesting. And then we can support Iraqi... Um, or if we vassalize them in the peace deal, then we can force um, the Ottomans to give land to them in the peace deal. That'll be nice. We're rolling 1s and zeros. That's not good. The peasants just spawned in Khuzestan. Great. Siege all the things. We're taking huge losses down here for some reason. We have a decent general. Look at that. Seventy-two guys split in half. We don't even need you. Just don't take attrition. That's all I ask. And how did Spain get that tile? Eh, whatever. Starting to think ahead, like what we should do in the peace deal. Thessaly, why don't you come down Alexandria or something? I really don't need anyone down there. We have tons of troops already. Yep, hello guys, how are you? Okay, they did shatter to retreat to Constantinople, and we did crush them. Good. Oh, look at that, they want peace, that's cute. 
Any good missions? Form an alliance with Cretes. I don't really want to form an alliance with Crete. They're a republic. If they were a noble republic, we could go vassalize them, but they're the wrong kind of republic. If anything, we'll just go annex them. We have a revolutionary war on them. Ah. Uh, what do we have for vassals right now? We have six out of eight relations. So we'll, we'll, we'll take Iraq as a vassal. And I guess we could take Crete. Persia's going to be too big to take as a vassal, but we might make him spit out somebody. You have core, Anyone have cores in here? No, don't the Timurids have cores here? Nobody has cores over here? Really? Wow. Well, that sucks. I cannot believe how bad this battle is going for us. This is crazy. We outnumber them two to one. They have no morale, and we're still losing tons and tons of units. Should not be happening. Hopefully this guy just stands still here. Oh, there we go. We finally won that battle. And he's shattered retreating the dummy out. Okay, good. I'm just going to block him over here. I'm going to put the speed up to three. Should be okay. Uh, what's up here? England declared war on France. Wow, really? Look at this, England and France are actually doing stuff. It's amazing. That never happens in this game. Seriously, it never ever happens. England and France never do anything. So now shit's going down. It's gonna be a royal rumble. He's retreating through other people's lands. This is so dumb. He's going to try to retreat all the way over to here. That is retarded. Okay, see if we can catch that army down there. Some random general died. Oh, he actually wants to fight me in Alexandria. Okay. Bring it, bro. Oh wow, we're taking huge losses. We lost 800 guys on day one, even though we have a... Our own generals are about the same, but we have our shock bonus. How did we lose 800 guys on day one? Yeah, we're losing tons more than he is. Damn it. Alright, he's just retreating to Rashid. Catch him and kill him. Okay. You group up in Basra and go attack that guy. Yeah. 
We're losing more guys than he is. Every day. Hamadan. Where the hell is Hamadan? Hamadan. Well, these are all finished. Oh, he didn't go very far, did he? Okay, Ed Deeran has fallen. Now we're getting good rolls. Took a while, but it was worth it. Provence wants access. No thanks. Here, collapse on that fool. Yeah, he's just shadow retreating right through Libya. That's so stupid. Um, I think we'll let two guys go and two guys stay. Turkish Patriots. Uh, sucks to be you. I got armies moving through there. And we caught this guy in Karbala. Good. Kill them all. So what's it going to take to uh, vassalize you? You're small enough, right? No, they're... Really? He only has four provinces, and they're not even of good value. Base three, base two, base four, base three. How is that not able to vassalize? We could vassalize Syria, which had base 5, base 6, base 2, base 8. We vassalize them. They have way better territory than Iraq does. That I do not understand. Syria has way better territory. The same number of provinces. Four provinces. Syria's land is worth a lot more, and we could vassalize them at 98%. This one costs 158. That don't make any sense. I think we're going to start bringing troops home, because this war is pretty much over. <sighs> no, we didn't have claims on Syria. I have no idea what's causing Syria to cost a lot less than Iraq. We did not have claims on either of them, and we used the same Holy War cause as Belly on both. I don't know what the difference is. Iraq's territory is worth a lot less than Syria's, but apparently they're... I don't know. It makes no sense. Okay, keep on sieging. What's not finishing soon? This one's taking a while. That's taking a while. Azov has fallen. Let's go get that. Help out in Kaffa. No, it's not a different CB. We're using the Holy War on both of them. It's a, Both of them were Holy Wars. Same CB.
That's why I am confused. Mercenaries can just go away. We don't need them. if killing his army has made him cheaper. Nope, still 158. That's weird. Okay, we have 100% on Iraq. But for some reason he's worth too much. It's holy war, right? So it's cheap to take these lands. It's only 11 per. But still, that's expensive in my book. I guess what we can do is we can just sell them to Syria, right? Syria will buy them. And then next war we can go vassalize them. Yeah, I have to take two so that he'll be cheap enough next time. Alright, that's fine. All your dollars... I'm going to take some dollars and your trade power. Okay, you guys can group up. Let's go help out down there. Finish that up. We can't sell anything to him during war, so we have to wait for a piece. We can convert stuff, but why bother? He'll just he'll just buy them whatever. He won't he won't care. We're at 90% in this war. Can we make Persia peace out? They can't release anybody. They can revoke cores. They can get rid of treaties. Yeah, get rid of those treaties. Um, give me your trade power. And I guess I'll take some land up here. That, oh, it's too much, really? Wow, that one's worth a lot. Wow. Wow. We only have 55% on him because battles don't count towards people who are not the war leader. So I have to wait a bit. Why don't we end this episode here and we'll come back next time for the peace deal. See you then. Bye-bye.